thing. So uh, they're all they're all brought back to the team. And you got to remember, the teams, of course, have have you know world class design teams, and uh, Robert is a world class. Um, uh, Go on, uh, <laughs> Mountain Dew taster. I, I yeah. Am, yeah, I'm a professional Mountain Dew drinker. Yeah. Uh, well, literally now. I'm yes, a professional. You are. Yes. So obviously to, to unlock oh, that. Oh, Reaper is awesome. To, to, to yeah. get, you know, you don't have all these unlocked necessarily From in day single one. player mm -hmm. until you level up. No. How do you get the unlock tokens that you use to buy or to unlock, you know, additional pack parts of the assault package you, the recon package? You get, you get them as you as you rank up your character. So it, just as you would be awarded a perk or anything else, you naturally, as you progress, will unlock more tokens uh, to balance it out. But, um, yeah, there's... Did he choose Recon? Are you using Reaper? I mean, yeah. Reaper is awesome. So Reaper is basically, I don't know if we've seen it in game yet, but it, uh, similar to the Predator missile, but you're, you stay in the plane. So where Predator, you are one missile, and you start as it's being controlled, or That's cool too. And you fire it. The Reaper, you have multiple missiles, and you can guide it with a, uh, you can laze the target as it's flying. So you can fire it and change its trajectory with your cursor, which is awesome for chasing guys down. And you have a nice zoom effect. Uh, Twitter user the Mambo one one six asks, "How are guns acquired in multiplayer? Can the player choose what gun to unlock next?" No, uh, it's, it's very similar to what the system's been before, which in is Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, in yeah. Black Ops, you had a currency system, so right, you right. could so you buy. Did get to buy it. Um, yeah, where in Modern Warfare Two, and that's the style that we use, is you progressively unlock things naturally. How do you guys determine like what? Like, how do you figure out what level makes sense for, you know, gun X versus gun Y? You know, the, the level four, I get this gun and this type of grenade, you know, versus, you know, why, why then? Uh, it, it's, you know, a, a lot of different stuff because one thing is it's not, you're not always necessarily unlocking something better because I would never say the weapons available to you at level one are better than the weapons you're going to get at max level. It's about unlocking different styles of weapons. So, you know, the weapons you get on early on is they're very straightforward, you know. They're, they're very simple weapons. Um, and it's, it's about the variety of weapons. And then as you rank up, it's all about just giving you something new that gives you a different style of variety. Uh, remember, you can delete your questions on the Twitter, at the Twitter you see on the bottom of the screen right now with the hashtag Modern Warfare 3. Right now we're playing Kill Confirmed, so if you have any Kill Confirmed, uh, which is a new mode, Modern Warfare 3, specific questions. We got Glenn here from Sledgehammer and Robert from Infinity Ward ready to uh, hopefully field your questions. Um, so here we are. Oh man, this, so that's a new, right there we just saw him throw out. A bouncing a, Betty. A bouncing yep. Betty, that's new to the. To Modern Warfare, yeah. Yeah, to Modern Warfare. Man, those things are brutal. Nice. The way they work. That was good. See, yeah, so right there is an example of even though you shoot someone, their dog tag, their dog tag drops. If your teammates come and pick up the dog tag, then you can they deny don't the get kill. the point. Yeah, so it was actually a good example of greed, where the other guy was just, ah, yeah. well, could be in the open. Did that good? Oh man, the A, the A12 or what? Man, he's doing good. That's yeah. portable radar. So that right there gives him an area of effect where. Oh. He, where he, yeah, what so exactly is the so you see the you here? see the ping on the mini map. So anybody within that ping will now show up on the um, on the on the mini map, and it's great because you can pick up and move that piece of equipment anytime you want. So I will actually use oh. it for two things. When I'm playing like objective or search and destroy, I will throw it on the bomb site so I know as soon as anybody comes close to the bomb site, so I don't have to physically watch it, so I can be watching the other one. What I will also use it is if I'm running through a map, I will throw it through a window before I go into a building to see if anyone's camping in it, and then go in and pick it up on my way through the building. He's dying to get those. Uh I mean, yeah. Tags, the, right? The, you the see them, and you just the want tags, it. Yeah. The tags make you, very, make you so greedy. Right. But look at him. He's doing a good job. He's got... Nice, nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see, but here he is using Tonight. his bait. Oh! oh! Nice. Nice, nice. That was the Bouncing Betty that got him right there? Yeah. That was awesome. That was really good. Yeah, so there you go. That's a great example of how you can lure people out with those, those tags. Yeah, this is uh, actually a really great mode for Kill Confirmed too, just because uh, there are so many really focused sort of choke points, I think, that you there, can There really are. Out. This one's, all of a sudden you're in the middle of, uh, like, right here, this is, he's in the open. It's obviously also a very good map for a shotgun, <laughs> if you know how to use it. I particularly Ooh. am not accurate enough to use the shotgun. Maybe this one, because it fires so fast, but. Now, if he's really skilled, he'll be able to go back in and deny his own kill. Yeah. I love, I love the <laughs> your own kill. Yeah. Um, 
actually, yeah, you actually get 250 points for that, right? Yeah. For, for denying And your the own. numbers that we see ticking up, like, you know, when they get a kill, 50 points, 50 points, that's experience being gained towards their next right. level. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it's, uh, it's not necessarily, it's not being thrown on, like, towards, you know, winning the game necessarily the same way no, as, like, a yeah, exactly. team deathmatch. That's your personal experience. So you get XP for killing them, and then you get more XP for confirming the kill by getting their dog tags. You also get XP if your teammate picks up their dog tag, and they'll get XP for picking it up as well. So there's never, there's no downside to ever picking up dog tags. So you're not stealing anything from your teammate. That's the most important thing in Kill Confirmed is pick up every dog tag you see, because you're either denying the kill or confirming yeah, a kill for your team, and you're both getting XP for it. And uh, then obviously you, you get more XP if you deny your own kill, um, and then obviously for all the other stuff, avenging deaths, getting assists, all that stuff gives you XP. We, we reward you for any action you do well. Um, if you could confirm your own kill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Twitter user Arrow Grunt asks, uh, how did you modify the blast radius of the, the explosives? If you modified them at all, I think we talked that a little bit about the new the new tube. Obviously, you yeah, the, the damage it. has been decreased. Yeah. Blast radius slightly. Um, Do we do it with grenades at all? Uh, explosives as a whole have been rebalanced. Yeah, to make them not you know probably the stuff you hear you know whether you're playing nice, it and nice. feeling it yourself or you know keep hearing about it right with this many people who play the game. I, I, yeah, I imagine it's, it's again, the explosive tweaks are some of those more fine things that most people probably won't notice too dramatically outside of things like the infamous new tube. But like mm -hmm. grenades and stuff, like, you know, as long as you, it's, it's, they're still grenades, I imagine the, the tweaks are so, so you see, seemingly Yeah, minor. yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, you know, pulling in the... So you radius. see now he's scrolling through what kill streak he wants to call in now because now you have the ability to use the D-pad. So if you have multiples unlocked, you can use your D-pad to choose which one you're calling in first. Because on the right, as he, since he's playing a support, he's still earning kills yes. ticking up and up yep. and up, even though he, even if he dies. So like right remote now, sentry is cool because even though it seems like what he's support, he gets to throw down a sentry, but he has to be. In yeah. the camera mode, you can't. It doesn't fire automatically. Yes, a minute. But what this is great for, and like, so just shoot, you, guy. You think your traditional thing is like, okay, I'm going to use the remote sentry just as firepower, as suppressive support. But you can you, see, you can actually use it as situational awareness because he has eyes on where the enemy is. So I will throw this up and use this to communicate to my teammates of like, guys okay, coming around the corner. Yeah, they're heading this way, they're going that way, they're using the flank, they're doing that. So I love a lot of these support kill streaks because they have, you know, the obvious good point, use yeah. for them and then the other use that you could use. Uh, Arrow Grunt, who asked about the blast radius of explosives, is going to win one of our four uh, Modern Warfare 3 PS3 controllers. Oh. Um, Nice. Oh, man. Oh, wow. You'll see. So that showed a little bit of the balancing. Yeah. While that is a great machine gun, it gives you that situational awareness. It gives, allows you to cover like a tight area. It doesn't last long. It's fairly weak. As you're getting shot, it goes static key, and the bullet damage on it is nowhere near the as, auto turret. As your, yeah, as your auto turret or your weapon. So you see, this guy is obviously running with a perk. That gives him a, mm -hmm. an advantage. The uh, the recon drone that we're seeing right now too also has a limited range. It can only go so far away from your guy before it before it falters, right? Uh, it can only go so high. It can't go so out, high, outside okay. the the playable map area. Okay. See, right. you're losing signal there. But it should be able to fly pretty much um, right anywhere it wants mm -hmm. in the playable area of the map. Tag him. Uh, nice. Um, so another Twitter question from iPone Ponies. He says, I know, right? Yeah. He, says, he says, what is your favorite aspect of the map design of Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer? My favorite aspect of the map design of Modern Warfare 3? Uh, I think, you know, we, we've done a really good job of looking at how we can design maps that really discourage, um, you know, so many camping spots. Uh, to really focus on limiting the hot spots on a map so that, you know, it's, it's very much focused. It, it's focused on keeping the gameplay very fast paced uh, and keeping you in the fight at all times. I, I like some of the, uh, that's true, I mean that's, um, I think one of, the, one of the great things about these designs, but I also like some of the imagination of, of some of them where you're kind of going down some stairs and you go through a tube and you may come out on a street somewhere else. Just the, uh, the the overall design 
Um, <laughs> I like the uh, some of the verticality as well. I was well. gonna say, I think, the, like you said earlier, this one uses a lot more verticality. Yeah. You can cross over a field of battle without going over a direct killing field by going through flanking tubes. Yeah. And that sort of thing. I find there's a, there's a good risk reward. There might be, um, uh, you know, a place that's like, okay, I gotta run down this, this area, I'm out in the open, but at the end of it is, a, you know, a, 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 a nice place to kind of hang out. Um, um, so for your question, iPhone Pony, it's because it led to some good discussion. You're going to win a copy of the game. Your platform of oh, choice. Nice. Confirm, hanging out. Yeah. confirm the kills. Yeah. Oh, no, he wants nice. to use it as a... Um, another Twitter question from Braz Knuckles says, uh, the movement speed, is, is the movement speed of your character based on your primary or current weapon being used? So for instance, if he's using like a sniper rifle, it's current it? weapon. Yeah. Okay, so if he pulls out a pistol, he'll run faster at that moment, even if his primary weapon is a giant machine gun. Right. Yeah. Okay, that was an easy question to answer. If you want to send in your own uh, questions, you can send them into twitter.com/ign on the on the, uh, the the way you see below with the hashtag Modern Warfare Three. Um, we need we want specifically questions that are multiplayer focused. I have, still have ten copies of Modern Warfare Three to give away as well as uh, three custom PS3 controllers. So you need to send in your good questions because we're only doing this for another 45 minutes. Yeah. So Could you uh, scroll through perks? Only. If you go to twitter.com, if you go to facebook.com slash IGN and visit us, like us, do all those good things, you can enter for a chance to win a limited edition of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Well, they can ask other, yeah, have 60. other questions there that aren't? Yeah, yeah sure, they can, ask, yeah. they can ask single player questions as well. Any great questions. Well, you right? ask Robert anything. I have uh, personal you life. You need dating yes. advice? Yes. Robert's yeah. here to help. I'm here to help. Could you um, get through like cars? the pro perks? <laughs> uh, the pro can, perks? You can also uh, go to facebook.com slash playing Call of Duty, become a it. fan, follow us there so that you can get it, uh, a lot more Call of Duty updates from IGN. And you can also go to twitter.com slash Call of Duty IGN. Follow us there to find out all the cool Call of Duty news and features that are we're going to be coming by IGN. And you know, once Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Actually talk to us about world travel. Robert and I just got back from four weeks on the road. Uh, yeah. for, was it hard or was it awesome? A combination of both. both. A combination yeah. of both. Yes. There yeah. was a lot of awesome yeah. to it. Yeah, a lot uh, of awesome, but four weeks away is, uh, is tough in a row. Um, I love the resistance to flash and So how exactly mm -hmm. yep. do you earn uh, pro versions of the various perks? Obviously in private matches they've all been unlocked. But right. is it just through using those perks? Like some perks have a direct use, right? You reload a bunch with something like a sleight of hand. Right, yeah. But then e other ones e such Each as, one uh, has a unique challenge to it. Okay, and completing those challenges, you can earn the pro version. We'll, we'll unlock the pro version for you. So when, you're, when you can go to it and see the, uh, the challenge associated with unlocking the pro, you uh, just won't be able to see what the benefit of it until you unlock it. But obviously if you're watching the stream, then you're getting all of them right now. So what sort of uh, perks are actually new perks compared to what we, you know, people have seen before? I think uh, uh, Assassin's New. Um, which allows you to be completely invisible to right. UAVs and radars and all those sort right. of things that might detect you. Um, quick draw is new. Uh, quick draw is faster. Um, or stalkers faster when aiming. Um, so when you're ADS, you can do that. There's uh, also the one that allows you to move faster while aiming. Is that, or is that what you just said? Yeah, stalkers move Stalker, faster okay. while aiming. Quick draw. Could you go back to the perks? We're showing off new perks. So you got recon here. So recon does, uh, it actually will paint the target so that has splash damage. So I love this, like the moment like you throw a grenade in a room and you always get that like hit marker. So you damaged him, but you didn't kill him. And then you don't know if he jumped out the window, if he ran outside, if he's camping in there waiting for you. This will actually paint him on the mini map for you. And then the pro version will do the same thing with bullet damage. So you know, you always get that guy where you clip him as he's going around the corner. But you don't know where he went. Yeah, you don't know if he dropped the prone and he's waiting for you, if he's trying to flank you. Uh, go down to blind eye. So blind eye, undetectable by air support and sentries. This is something like we've separated it from assassin to, to help balance it out. Now, if you want to go completely stealth, you're going to have to give up to you know your first and your second perk slot to do it, which is the sacrifice. Uh, extreme conditioning is obviously back from Call of Duty 4, different from Marathon, where Marathon and MW2 was unlimited sprinting. Extreme conditioning is just sprint for longer distances and of course climb obstacles faster. Um, Another uh, Twitter question from uh, draw. from TA Corruption. He asks, uh, has there ever been any discussion about adding Modern Warfare 3 to the pro gaming circuit? Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, mm -hmm. that was the big focus of why we did all the stuff we did with Private Match. 
is to give our pro players, our MLG players, our professional players who want to play competitively, the ability to completely control that, to create their own MLG playlist that they can then share with every player so everyone has the same rule sets and they can restrict anything they want in the game. So instead of catering the mass design of the game for just the competitive players, we want to give them the ability to cater it for themselves. So they can take out anything they think is unfair, anything they think is unbalanced. They can change the rule sets of game types to make it more fitting for whatever their tournament rules are. Quick draw is another new perk which allows you for faster aiming. This in combination uh, with Stalker is one of my favorite things for TDM. Um, for your question, TA Corruption, you're going to win one of our last 10 copies of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. Yes, so, um, another Twitter question from uh, Scott Savino. He says, does taking down air support count towards a point streak? Like towards a kill streak? Like, you know, does that count as a kill? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, you know, capping objectives, doing things like that, uh, you know, all add up to your point streak rewards. Here we are. Now we're going to do a headquarters match. Uh, nice. Headquarters is a classic mode, but this is the one where you both fight over who gets to control it, and then once someone does, the other team has to take it from them. Yeah. And the team that owns it does not respond until the uh, until they're either all dead or the control points taken back. Yeah. Yeah, so see, it'll start off with a target, so both teams can see where the headquarters is going to pop up, but it cannot yet be captured. And then after a little bit, once they get there and they fight over the position, it will change to capture, and then they have the ability to actually capture it. And once they do capture it, like you said, it turns into a no respawn mode, where everyone defending will slowly be died off until the responding attacking team takes it back. Man, Guy is just tearing it up with his PP90 or whatever that gun is. I, is I'm actually uh, unfamiliar with that weapon. Is that is that new to the Modern Warfare franchise? The, uh, I think it's called a PP90. It's the one you keep seeing pop up in the bottom. Oh, of that one. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that one's new. Um, yeah, it's a rather actually. It's a very interesting looking weapon. The way it pops off a whole cylinder off the yeah. bottom. It has a really cool reload animation. It's very fast paced. It's pretty nice, powerful nice. too. Yeah. Um. So, a Twitter user named named COD Freak asks, "How do you counter the bouncing Betty in multiplayer?" Uh, go prone. So, if you go prone, as soon as you hear that click of it of it jumping up, because there's a delay between it firing and, and getting to headshot level, if as soon as you hear that sound, you go prone, you will miss all damage. So it's great because, like you know, if you think there's bouncing Bettys, the best thing you can do is crawl in. So if you think they're like, you know, covering like a doorway, just crawl in there and deal with it. But obviously, you know, situational is everything. So be listening to that click and then go prone. Obviously the counter to it, the technical counter in the game is sit rep the perk. Because sit rep will show you where all bouncing buddies are laid, as well as any other enemy equipment. COD Freak, to help you uh, do your going prone, we're gonna give you a new controller. New PS3, Modern Warfare 3 controller. Cool. Brand new buttons that hopefully aren't worn out from all your time playing the other Call of Duty games. Oh man, someone's tearing it up actually. This is they a good, a someone's actually using mm -hmm. the Reaper right yeah. now. So you'll their see, rain destruction. so in their view, they, they, they control this red laze on the ground and that determines where the missile's gonna go. Now the players on the ground can actually see that. So if you see your area lit up red, you know a Reaper is aiming at you and that's your cue to you know, get the fuck out of there or take cover. Though, I mean, the blast radius on it's still pretty big, so... Oh yeah, it's big. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to move quick, but... Or get in a house, maybe, yeah, if, get if inside can, a building. If you can get underneath something, that's your cue to do it. So the yellow that you're seeing on the screen, that just indicates that they actually are wearing a ballistic vest. Yeah, they he's have a wearing a little bit of additional vest, protection. Yeah. Oh man. Nice, nice. Just got a little kill zone right here. Yeah, he does. Up. Uh, nice. That, I, that, that bouncing Betty with the radar thing seems like a, a great, oh, I can't believe you didn't get that, oh, a great combination. No. You know, it seems like the, uh, the uh, portable radar, I kind of wrote it off when I was playing earlier, but it seems like it's a really cool way to go, especially if you're trying to, especially something like HQ, yeah. where you're holding down a spot and you need to know when people are approaching exactly, a specific yeah. point. Portable radar is great for putting it on bomb sites. It's great for putting it on flanking routes, so you know when they're coming up behind you, they know you know what path they're taking. Especially in Search and Destroy, I use it a lot in Search and Destroy. How uh, how is the uh, the like location of the 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 headquarters determined? 
like where it decides to pop up. Is that based on like player location on the map at the time, or is it like, obviously it selects from a number of pre-made ones? Exactly. And it, yeah, we 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 try to make it as balanced as possible based on where the two teams are. Um, math. Math know, is always the good answer. Yeah. yeah. You, you'll notice once people play it a lot and they they learn the predetermined locations. Like the very skilled HQ players will send one player to each of those locations to try to have somebody on hand at all times. But that's when you get into the you know super hardcore team play. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's a good placement for that turret. Yeah, the thermal vision something has always looked really great in the Modern Warfare series. I think it's like, the game already looks pretty good, in clip, but when it's in this thermal vision, it looks like it's almost like a startling, startlingly kind of real at times. Yeah. Like the AC-130 mission in particular, if you watch that, like mm -hmm. in the old ones, compared to like actual AC-130 footage, it's pretty striking. Here it comes, here it comes. Uh, oh, nice, nice. Man, I think this guy, I think he might be the only one holding down this point at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a great reason why you should start rolling with EMP grenades. Don't mm. always just rely on your concussion, because concussion's great, but it's, you know, not as useful when it comes against stuff like that. Sure, I guess people a lot of times just pick concussion because they, they imagine that it'll have limited use only having an MP3 one, or, I mean, an EMP one. Yeah, but when you're playing in objective mode, you know they're going to be using equipment a lot. Because in objective modes, people are rolling with support strike packages, so EMP's um, EMP's a uh, a great thing to have. Um, so Twitter user Halala PP asks uh, asked, "Will there be a perk that takes out falling damage?" Yeah, I think there is. There's a uh, it's, it should be one of the benefits of one of the pro ones. So okay. we lost commando. Uh, in Modern Warfare 2, we had the Commando perk, which we removed that from Modern Warfare 3. Um, Much faster. But we, um, but we kept the no falling damage on one of the pro perks. Well, Halala PP, you can try out that perk for yourself, the pro version, when you get a copy of the game, because you're getting a copy of your platform of choice from Modern Warfare 3. Still have eight left, so if you want to send in your questions, you can send them to twitter.com slash IGN. Right there, you see it on the bottom of the screen. Hashtag Modern Warfare 3. Taking questions about anything. Modern Warfare 3, Spec Ops, which you showed earlier, even Campaign. Here with Glenn Schofield from uh, head of Sledgehammer Studios and with the... With the uh, gosh, what, 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 I was, creative Strategist. Creative Super Strategist, Robert Bowling. Super Creative Strategist. Work. That's what I'm going to add this time. <laughs> Amazing Creative Executive Strategist. Yeah. Super. Um, so, uh, Twitter user Matt Hamer 16 asks, oh, will there Matt. be... Will there be any Easter eggs in multiplayer or Spec Ops like there was in Modern Warfare 2? Yes, there are. Gotta find them. We're not gonna tell you <laughs> yeah. them, because then they're not Easter eggs. Here's yeah. who they are. <laughs> yeah, I d I'll just say I did notice uh, playing that people should go, when they're playing in uh, the mission uh, underground, they should go look at these subway maps. They're, they're very Ooh. interesting. Yeah, you could, uh, they're interesting thanks to legal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Legal, for forcing us to make Easter eggs. Are you, are you telling me that you couldn't even use like real subway names and stuff like that? Like, are those copyrighted? You would be surprised the things that lawyers sell you can't use. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever. It results in some funny things, I imagine, when you have to just be like, well, fine, then we're calling it Space Station 27 or something. Yeah. You know? um, so, yeah. We don't want to give them away, but they will be there, Matt. Um, Pure Raw J asked a question that maybe you could answer, uh, Glenn. He asked, who composed the score for the game? Uh, Brian Tyler. Uh, Brian is, uh, you know, one of the one of the top guys out of Hollywood. Um, and uh, he just did a fantastic job. When he came up and we uh, talked with him, he was instantly felt, you know, um, got along with the two teams. And uh, not only that, he's a real hardcore gamer. So we knew that we could you know, really talk about interactive uh, music. And um, he, uh, he composed it, and then he would go up uh, and get the Flammonica. Um. How, how, how does a composing a game for Modern Warfare 3 go? Is it that he looks at a storyboard and thinks about it, or does he actually get to see like scenes from the game and be like, oh, this is what you know, well, we'll, really we'll make uh, We'll make videos and movies and send it down to him. Uh, or you know, play it live to him, and he gets to see the 
the uh, the kind of gameplay, and then we also will talk to them about it. Like there might be a particular area where we'll say, um, this is like that scene in Black Hawk Down. Right. It's, it's interesting to think that you guys played these games early enough that you're playing them without any sort of music whatsoever. Right. That's got to oh. be such a different experience, you know. Well, you, it's you, unbelievable. You do a yeah. lot of temp. Uh, just like yes. we do temp dialogue, we'll do temp uh, music, and we'll, we'll find like scores and music that fits the tone of what we're looking for for a level and put that in so you know it's not completely silent throughout the development, and then uh, we'll use that as like a, uh, a palette to, to, for the rest of it. Sometimes we'll hum it through. <laughs> here's a here's a, someone using the uh, recon dragon. The recon dragon, yeah, with the with the bullet shield. Yeah. So you see, he has, he has that radar ping coming off him because he has built-in portable radar, uh, and then obviously he's forced with a, a riot he, he shield. He can beat people to death with that. He riot can beat people. Mm -hmm. the, the the big the big cons to the recon dragon. Obviously, you know, you have a lot of resistance to damage, but you're slow moving. You can't go prone. You can't jump. You have a lot of restrictions on on your mobility. But eventually that shield gets pretty hard to see through yeah. as it gets oh, damaged. Oh. oh, nice. Punched him. <laughs> um, you know, uh, Pure Rajay, thank you for your question about who composed the score for the game. That actually led to some pretty interesting discussion. Uh, for that, you get our final PS3 controller, Modern Warfare 3 themed. Um, remember, if you want to enter for a chance to win our limited edition Modern Warfare 3 Xbox 360, oh. you need to go to facebook.com slash IGN, like us, become a fan do all the good things that you do on Facebook. Um, Jacob Tuma asks, was the UMP45 adjusted to be not as powerful as previously? Yes, it, it's, it's more, um, more balanced with all the other weapons in the game, for sure. I mean, it's the starting submachine gun right yeah. now, correct? Yeah, and, and we typically want the starting weapons, especially the weapons we put in default classes, to be you know fairly competitive Super. with everything else because that's the weapons like we want you to be able to choose one of the default classes for your playstyle and have a fighting chance against anyone else in the game that's what they're designed to be yeah but yeah the, the m45 has definitely been been balanced more to the rest of the weapons in the game um another twitter question asked from stevie mcdubbs asked I like how it, he says, I like how it takes right. two perks to be completely invisible to radar. Are there any other balances like this in Modern Warfare 3? Uh, there's a ton. I, I, I don't know um, any specifics that I can give. Just I mean, like previously that. there was, uh, there's been perks in the past that made you completely invisible, just like one perk, right? Yeah, Ghost and Black Ops. And that's what we were looking to avoid uh, with uh, Modern Warfare 3. And, and that's the reason we separated Blind Eye and Assassin, where Assassin on itself is fairly powerful. Oh. If you want complete stealth, you have to give up two of those perk slots to do it. Uh, and that's, you know, we approached everything like that, either balancing it that way or giving something a direct counter. Like, for example, you have Dead Silence that makes you completely, uh, you know, to have silent footsteps. Uh, but then you also have Sit Rep Pro, which increases enemy footsteps. So if someone uses Sit Rep Pro, they counteract the effects of Dead Silence. And everything in the game should have a counter like that. Um, nice. Well, you can try out those perks for yourself, Stevie McDubbs, because you're getting a copy of Modern Warfare 3 for your platform of choice. Remember to win any of these prizes, though, you do need to be, uh, you need to live in America. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, Let's see, another Twitter user asks, uh, his name is Into Broken. He says, with stuns and flashes, have they been changed at all? Like the effects? Um, the, the VFX? Yeah. Yeah, in some cases. Um, like I said, said before, we'll try and go back and uh, look at everything and see if it needs a little uh, tightening up. But. Yeah, uh, the big new thing uh, with flash and stuns now is now you have Blast Shield Pro as a perk which actually reduces the effects of them completely, which yeah. is the first time we've ever had a perk that also impacts support grenades. Which is extremely useful for something like this, or Dom, something where you know you're going to be in a spot where you're going to get flashed always. Yeah, speaking of domination, the team, uh, Mike's team is dominating right now. They are. Okay, 670 to 60. Someone downstairs in our office is putting on a poor show. Yeah, again, this is a good level where you can see the verticality. There's that trench way yes. below here. Yep. This raised ground over this whole valley yeah. to the right. It's, they're really well. That was a good example of the balancing of the grenade launchers as well. Like, he was a fairly head on hit with that, and it still only gave him a hit marker. 
It's a great support tool. It's great if like you know someone's capping and you want to weaken them before you get there and fire, or someone's already fired on them and you just want to finish them off. Or maybe there's like four guys and you want to soften them up to have a right. chance against all of them. Ooh. But not great to run around as your oh, primary no. like oh, man. Mike's uh. currently doing. Um, so here's here's another really specific multiplayer question um, from Elcon88. He says, if you want to keep the game fast and action paced, why limit marathon to a set amount of time? Uh, it's it's a balancing thing. It's uh it's you know we liked how it worked very much in extreme conditioning and how the maps are balanced out this time around. It worked fairly well for Modern Warfare 2, uh, but we um, you know it, it still keeps it fast paced. It just doesn't you know make it the the be all running first. Requires you to have a bit more strategy, especially in things like capture the flag, where um, Marathon was, was was fairly, you know, fairly powerful in capture the flag in Modern Warfare 2. Where uh -huh. now it requires you to also have that speed, but also have you uh, rely on fighting as well. Um, Elcon, you're going to get a copy of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. We still have six copies to give away in the next uh, 20 or so minutes. So the next the next guy, he has a fantastic name. His name is Soviet Jive Turkey. That's his name. Yeah. Soviet Jive Turkey. Don't get it. He says, "What effect does the EMP Mother grenade?" Turkey's Jive you. <laughs> he says, uh, "What effect does the EMP grenade have on kill streaks? Examples: deployable turrets, etc. Is it that it destroys them, or yeah, it, it, it'll take them out? Okay, now, it doesn't just temporarily disable them. Right. Where you know, flash and stun have like effects on them, where EMP is designed to disable them." Remember, you can tweet your questions at the uh, Twitter you see below with the hashtag MW3. We're taking questions about anything you've seen today. Single player, multiplayer, spec ops. Right now, we're towards the tail end of a match for... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm spacing with the cap uh, headquarters. Headquarters. Right. What's he using? XM25? Yeah. So see, now here, when, when he's aimed in, he has to mark a distance. So if he presses left on the left stick, it will mark the distance in which that grenade will be programmed to explode. So this one explodes in the air. Yes, based but, on the distance that he marks. Yeah. So it, it will, if somebody's behind a uh, something, right, they, it will maybe go a meter past and, and explode down. So it can basically render cover ineffective. Uh, yes. Absolutely. But you have to manually laze that distance yes. in multiplayer. Something you don't have to do in a single player. It's the difference between taking the same weapon that was in single player and rebalancing it so it's not overpowered in multiplayer. Yeah, I imagine that's something that's a challenge, right? I, I, are there many weapons that have been changed between multiplayer and single player? Because in single player, you maybe want the player to feel more empowered yes. than you want them. Well, they have to check them all. Yeah, I'd, I'd say every weapon goes. Every weapon goes through a rebalancing when it comes to multiplayer, in terms of reload speed and weapon damage and, and all that stuff. Um, so another Twitter question from his name is I hate to Sniper. Says, in what ways did you change sniping, and what is your opinion on quick scoping? Quick scoping, I, I personally don't have a problem with quick scoping. Uh, I mean, obviously it's in Modern Warfare 3 um, because it's it's one of those things that I'm horrible at. I see a lot of people who are horrible at it, um, and I've never had a problem taking out a quick scoper personally. Like I'm, I'm fairly good at getting around them. Um, but, you know, sniping, the biggest change to sniping overall in Modern Warfare 3 is the options that you have. We have far more options for not only the sniper rifles available to you, but, you know, new weapon proficiencies and things you can do with the sniper rifles than we've ever had before. Uh, can you give any examples of the sort of weapon proficiencies that you can earn as a sniper? Um, weapon, oh, I'm just going to have my go to in the middle of the map. Uh, the new web, the new sniper specific ones, uh, you have move faster, so you can move faster as a sniper, uh, is one of them, and then you have some of the ones that assault shares as well, uh, like reduce kick and things like that. Um, well, you're gonna hate snipers. Can you load it? Or no, sorry, his name is I has to sniper, so he is a sniper, is what it sounds like, not he hates. I think I was inputting my own input there because I hate snipers. Right. Well, I'll, well, hopefully I'll get to play against you, I has to sniper, because you're gonna get one of our last six copies of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. There are still five to give away. So you can still send your questions. That's twitter.com slash IGN. Hashtag at, hashtag Modern Warfare 3, or MW3, sorry. Um, right now we're seeing the very tail end of what has been a sweeping defeat in headquarters. I mean, it's just, this is just, 
Clearly, you don't have HQ players here. Yeah, yeah. I, I think most people in our office tend to play Team Deathmatch. So. By the way, Robert said he personally signed those copies. Oh. Wow. <laughs> they're gonna get. They're Hand gonna, them over. Yeah. Robert Bowling, creative strategist at Sydney Ward. Bob Booty, is that what you're? Pat Brody. <laughs> Pat Brody. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I can't say anything. My my signature looks like I, you know, freaked out with the pen in my hand for a second. Um, no, his looks like something. Just Pat Brody. Um. So, Twitter user Homewrecker45 says, mm. "How much of the guns and equipment are based off of real life technology, like the guns in Modern Warfare 3?" Um. So pretty much every. I mean, we. Want to say like everything, we, but the yeah, I want to say everything. Yeah. Like we said, it, it goes back to this kind of matching gameplay. But um, you know, take the XM25 that we talked about before. Uh, it's pretty darn close to the way it works. Yeah. The, the, what we will do is we'll typically try to base everything in realism, and then there's other stuff like portable radar uh, of things where we might take core technologies and tweak them to make them into a cool gameplay element. Or take a weapon, how it works, and tweak it so it's a little bit more balanced, even if you can't do it in real life. Like a good example of that is back in MW2, we had the AT4, which cannot lock on to air support, but in Modern Warfare 2, we made it lock on to air support because it balanced it out. Uh, Otherwise, it was kind of, better. it wasn't very useful yeah, against Yeah, it was an sport. infantry weapon rather than being useful against a plane because it was way too hard. Even the UGV, the, the tank is, um, you know, based on uh, technology that's out there and working in the field. Um, now maybe the heartbeat center. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, it's based on aliens. So yes. we've well, given away almost all so of our real. copies of Modern Warfare 3, which you're not going to get tomorrow, by the way. Just to, just to remind everybody, these are going to come out to you, you know, once the game is out. Um, you can still win, though. You can still win one of our five copies by sending your questions to twitter.com slash IGN uh, with the hashtag MW3. But you can also win a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 limited edition Xbox 360. It's very cool. We only have one of those. That one, that one, I'm sorry, that one I'm giving away if you go to facebook.com slash IGN. Become a fan. Like us. Visit the <laughs> site. I'm sure, yeah, you, you should do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you need another Xbox 360. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind getting one of these though. I yeah, to tell me, to, yeah, it is really cool looking. My my Xbox 360 is just a plain old white one. So. Robert's probably got two sitting back in his office. Yeah, yeah. That's, I play against myself on both yeah. of them. <laughs> Let's see, it says Glenn's on it. Yeah, um, that's mine. So Bleed Blue NYC asks, are there maps like Airport and Modern Warfare 2 that restrict the use of certain packages and streaks, like the AC-130 or Predator missile? I, I mean, you could still use them, but I think he just means like. Well, we have bare bones playlists which remove all kill streaks. We don't have any modes that remove specific kill streaks, but obviously you can jump into private match and restrict anything you want. So if you but can does go it mean just by the design? Then, yeah, uh, I just think I think he means maybe by design. There are clearly maps where certain kill streaks won't be as useful. There's a lot of oh, interiors and things like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 If that's what he's saying. Then, yeah, definitely. There are some kill streaks that work better in different maps, simply yeah. because of how the map is laid out. Mm -hmm. Like, um, But we typically like to, how we design interiors is to have a lot of areas that are, have open rooftops yep. or have holes Glasses blown in them, yeah. so that most, the majority of kill streaks are pretty viable across the majority of maps. Um, another Twitter question from KYLO76. He says, please, for the love of God, tell me that there are some classic maps. COD4 Modern Warfare maps, please. But maybe the, the answer is maybe someday maybe it's not it's maybe, not impossible. Maybe someday is a is is a great answer. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know what we look at is like we love classic maps, and but when you buy a brand new game, you're wanting all new content. You're wanting something you've never seen before, and that's what we really focused on delivering with Modern Warfare Two. And then listening to fan feedback when we start working on DLC and what they want to see more of. And every year, even when we do classic throwback maps and DLC, you'll have that audience who, you'll have the people who love it and you'll have the people who complain about it because they want all new content. So it's about striking that good balance. But with Modern Warfare 3, out of the gate we wanted to give you 16 new maps yep. that, that will hopefully become new favorites yeah, for you. Yeah, a lot of them are going to become classics. Yeah, so some it, of them are great. That's the thing. So KYLO76, you can try out the 16 new maps to satiate you until maybe someday you get some more map packs. You can do that because I'm giving you a copy of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. There are still four more of them. Woo! 
Ooh. We're down to our final 15 minutes or so of the live stream. Final match. So we need, we need you to send in awesome questions. I was going to tell you to make this count, Mike, but since you're using a shotgun with a heartbeat sensor, I don't have a lot of faith that you're going to make this. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. It was, uh, it was blurred over. Mm. So right now he's taking a perk that allows him to take two weapon attachments. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, the weapon proficiency. Uh, so um, he's in private match, so he has everything unlocked. But in public match, once you rank up, unlock the two attachment proficiency, unlock the two attachments you want, then you can throw it on there. Um, Twitter user Exotic OTB asks, do you think that the ACR is the best gun in the game, or what is? Uh, it's I one, love it. It's one of my personal favorites. I don't yeah. think it's the best gun in the game because uh, you know it's not nearly as fast as some of the other weapons. Uh, it has fairly medium damage. Um, so you know every weapon has its pros and cons. It's yeah. the best for my type of gameplay. Yeah, I really like it too. Uh, depending on the on the proficiencies you throw on it. All right. Yeah, I I, I don't know because I me, think it's the most versatile. I was gonna say for me, yeah, I, I would say that yeah. I tend to still just stick to uh, mm. submachine Crystal. guns no matter what. Right. So. Mm. Yeah, it, it, I, I think the ACR is the, the type of weapon that you know most players can can do well with. Um, but then there are other weapons that once you master them are better than the ACR. So here we see someone, he's actually, uh, Mike's actually using the specialist uh, strike package right now, which is why as he gets kills he's unlocking new perks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now he has his normal perks and he may have, now he also has recon so he can... Tag enemies. Tag enemies with explosives. Oh, this guy thinks he's going to get this Ooh. guy's kill streak. But what he actually dropped is an explosive decoy. Hopefully he gets it. Uh, that, is, that is my new bane of my existence. If you can coordinate throwing that in when somebody calls in a, a real one? airdrop, well, not only a real one, but like the five of them, and then just throw one in the middle of there. <laughs> yeah. What is actually uh, showering off these guys when they get killed, by the way? Money. Money. Yeah, so that, that's when you get payback. Uh, okay. So if you kill someone who killed you, just killed you, then you get payback, which is just a visual effect. That's just cool. I just didn't, yeah, I was wondering if that, that's an interesting visual effect to have for um, the game. It actually, well, that's a long story. Uh, it, it, it spawned from a feature we had a long time ago in MW2 that got cut. Um, All right, th this next Twitter user has a pretty special name. His name is uh, Scrotal Recall. <laughs> and he says it is and he, and scrotal, scrotal okay, the winner <laughs> scrotal recall asks can you restock explosive ammunition with scavenger pro ie grenades or grenade launcher attachment rounds how how um short answer is yes but it, it's balanced in the way that you can only pick up stuff if that dead body had it on them so unlike bullets which are universal you're always refilling your bullets Stuff like that is only refilled if that person happened to have one on them, and you only get the quantity Ooh. that they had on them. Okay, so, so like, it's very specific. It's very specific, and that's how we balance it out so that you're not constantly getting replenished with all this new stuff. Scrotal Recall, today for winning the internet, you get a copy of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice <laughs> for having such a potentially disgusting name. Um, and Just for that, Josh is going to sign that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Twitter user Killzone13 asks, uh, did you look at Black Ops at all to help you balance out certain aspects of Modern Warfare 3? Uh, you, you take feedback from the entire franchise as a whole. So where Modern Warfare 3 is definitely built up as a sequel to Modern Warfare 2, we take feedback from the community across all the franchises, stuff they liked from previous games, stuff that they wanted to see done differently, uh, and that's where you look at you know, how you're gonna approach things like perk balance and stuff like that. I mean, obviously we all played the game a few times. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it, I, that's actually an interesting point. Are there games outside of Call of Duty, Glenn, that you, know, you and the guys at the studio kind of play as research to kind of understand how you could really take the franchise to the next level? Uh, I, you know, I don't know about uh, uh, games uh, for for us. Like I, I've said, uh, you know, numerous times, is uh, our our biggest competition was looking at Modern Warfare 2, and how do we how do we uh, do better than that? How do we make uh, the game move forward and, and in ways that the fans will be really happy and proud? Um, you know, we'll look at big moments or things like that from uh, movies, but. Uh, and maybe dialogue and things like that from, from documentaries. Is, is, is there a, 
Are there any particular movies that you could say people could pay, keep an eye out for when they're playing Modern Warfare 3 to see if they can spot homages? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, obviously, we, oh. we've talked about um, Black Hawk Down. Uh, I would also, you know, Generation Kill is a great, it's not a movie, but a great series. Documentary, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we even looked at uh, The Unit because um, the, the Unit is, is about, you know, spec ops guys and, and how they, they, they work together. Um, also, this is the escort air draw that we were talking about. Yeah, yeah this, we'll, you, if you can coordinate that one. Yeah. So this will come in, drop off care baggages, and actually fire on any enemies who try to get it. If they have a line of sight. So this is great because I will actually use that to like call in a dom point because it basically gives you a personal helicopter that will cover that dom point for you. And then anybody who's there is defending can take take part in it. Pay attention everyone, you're getting free strats. Mm -hmm. Um just Gandulated asks, can you still blow yourself up by cooking a grenade? Yes. Of course you can. Yeah, That's, I was going to say, you should never just be able to take that yeah, on the face, right? Yeah. It's a risk reward to it. That's why I use yeah. Simtex, though, because you, you know, you got that benefit of not worrying about it. Are there any challenges around Simtex, specifically sticking people? I think there is. Yeah. It's very hard. I still haven't done it, but it is super rewarding when I've seen people do it. And really sucks when it's here. Challenges are the one thing. <laughs> Good point. Challenges are the one thing in the game that I try to purposely not look at all of them. Because like challenges come from all over the studios, yep. and like everybody is like contributing like what they think is a cool idea. We try to put in as many as possible, and I never want to look at that final list because it's the one area of the game that when the game comes out, I can still be surprised and like unlock challenges that I've never seen before. Yeah, I was gonna say Modern Warfare Three definitely seems to have more challenges than any of the previous games. Like I, th I think exists. it's because the, the the two teams are all putting them in there and. Uh, you know, having a good time doing it. We've named a lot of them after you. <laughs> I will say though that a lot of them aren't based on, on, they don't seem like, it's not like they're arbitrary or something, it seems based on things that people are naturally doing yeah. anyway. Oh yes, yeah. yeah there yeah, are yeah. a few that people probably will have to work at, like, you know, killing someone with throwing knives. That's, yeah. that's a, that takes a special person to do that one. My, my favorite ones are the ones that are spawned naturally, of like, we're playtesting at, oh, this is cool. We're playtesting at um, at the studio, and something crazy happens. Uh, right, that was a really awesome. Uh, yeah. What's that called? I forget that one. But that's a that's really. That's a cool. strafing run. Yeah, a strafing run from five attack choppers. Oh, awesome. like the sand missile going after it. <laughs> nice. Oh man, we should start cutting cool. trailers. Uh, yeah. So, so cryogenic oh, on Twitter cool. asks. He says, "Hey Robert. Hey, this, cryogenic. This is specific to you. I've been playing Modern Warfare three. Yes, you have. And, and Black Ops Demolition... No, it probably means Modern Warfare 2. Modern yeah. Warfare... If and, it doesn't... And Black Ops then. Demolition... And very, when, yeah, I think he's saying Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops Demolition. And one very big problem is spawn trapping. It says, please tell me that that's fixed. Uh, it, 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 well, I mean, there will always be moments and areas so, where you can hold down a team for a good amount of time if you have a good enough strategy. But there should never be an opportunity for you to hold down an entire team indefinitely. Um... So, so yes. So cryogenic, you can try out those uh, spawn trapping yourself because you're getting a copy of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. There's still two more My to give like away. That, you better hope you're right. Yeah, <laughs> there's still two more uh, left. Very very little time. So Triversity375 asks, can you set the fire rates of weapons automatic and single shot, or are they predetermined? They're predetermined. Yeah. Is that is that sort of like a specific balance issue that yes, you know you keep very calculated? Yeah. Yeah, early on uh, in Modern Warfare 3, we that was one of the features that we played around with of looking at different ammo types you could use, like hollow point and, and stuff, as well as rate of fire changes. Uh, but it just went in a direction that we felt wasn't right for it. Um, remember, if you want to win this limited edition Xbox 360 you see right here, you can go to facebook.com slash IGN, become a fan, follow us, do all those good things for a chance to win it. There's only one, and it's really cool. Um, we still have two copies of the game to give away, so you can remember tweet your questions to the address you see on the bottom below with the hashtag MW3. This is probably the final round of multiplayer that you will see in our uh, Call of Duty livestream. Previously, if you want to go back and watch it, you can see... Thank you, your breast, John. So you can see some spec ops, you can see some single player gameplay that's exclusive to us for the first time. You can also uh, follow uh, IGN and uh, a, you know, more specific our Call of Duty coverage at a couple of other places. Facebook.com slash playing Call of Duty and twitter.com slash call of duty IGN, where you can get all kinds of updates as the game gets more expansions, more content, writing up our impressions, doing podcasts about it, etc. Sweet. 
Yeah, we, we do a lot about Call of Duty. <laughs> so, um, right now he's what gun is he using right now? This is the uh, I forget. What it's, it's a type type gun. Oh yeah. yeah, the fad, which is awesome. Yes, it is, and with a heartbeat sensor, I mean, and lock it down. So right now he's actually de deployed the trophy, which disables incoming enemy th enemy explosives. Yes. Nice. And if you're watching for the first time, this is a new Call of Duty oh. Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer mode called Kill Confirmed, where the goal is to collect dog tags and make sure that the enemies do not collect yours, because that's the only way to actually get points towards winning. It's not good enough to kill them, you gotta get the tags. I could tell that it's that, that guy. was Yeah, yeah. The, the, the community manager. He comes leaping the around the corner, throwing for, hand grenades. Yes, the community manager for Sledgehammer is infamous for jumping around corners as he comes around every corner. Mm -hmm. While I will say it's effective, I tried doing it myself and I cannot aim while jumping, I've discovered. So, I, I will say he has a unique talent. Um, if a very frustrating one. Um, let's see. He, so, another Twitter question from Solid. I think his name's Solid Precision. Wow. Solid Precision asks, are there any fun weapons like a crossbow or ballistic knife in Modern Warfare 3? Um, we have the throwing knife, which I think is yeah. fun. Very challenging, um, yes. Yeah. Uh, it we, depends what you think is fun. Uh, I, think he just I, means I, like I think he just means kind of quirky weapons more than anything, yeah. you know, like a crossbow. Is kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would ever use a crossbow when they have a machine gun? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we don't really... I don't think we... No, we don't. We, uh, we don't really focus on um, weapons like that. You want a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would totally use a bow and arrow if it was 100% yeah. silent. Um, I wanted a football. Sonic Precision, though, you can try out the... Uh, Just throw a football You really can try hard. out uh, the, the new uh, throwing knife. Well, it's not new, but you can try out the throwing knife in Modern Warfare 3 for yourself, because you're going to get a copy of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. We still have one more to give away, so send in your questions. Twitter.com slash IGN with the hashtag MW3. We're in the final minutes of our Call of Duty live stream here, watching Mike in a very close game with Kill Confirmed. That's what I like too. Is the Kill Confirmed? I very rarely see it be a, in my experience it's so not far. It's lopsided. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's you know it's it's it can because while Cause anybody has a chance to pick up the. That's what I'm saying. Tags. Because while, even if you call in something like an airstrike and you wipe out a whole team, you still have yep. to go and collect those go tags. Exactly, in which yeah. case, they can use those to lure you in and get mm -hmm. your tags. Yeah. That's why. That's why I don't really use the assault strike package a lot in Kill Confirmed because, like you said, what good is a helicopter going around the map getting me kills if I'm not there to confirm Yeah, if it kills them right next to his teammate, they're just going to deny you the kill anyway. The yeah. guy doesn't get them all because he's always leaping over them. <laughs> that is the, the benefit of also doing melee attacks at Kill Confirmed is that it's an instant collect yes. yep. when yep. you stab them. So. But I, like I said, I'm, I'm scared of using melee attacks. I generally just shoot everyone no matter how close they are. This is uh, one of the game types where if you can team up with somebody where you're playing assault, so you're focused on getting kills, and then you have someone who's purely focused on speed, so he's running like machine pistols and, and uh, anything that gives him faster, Nice. then uh, let him be collecting while you're mowing him down. So even if you get the kill and don't collect the tag, you still get points. You get, assist. You get yeah. XP yeah. for yeah. both him collecting the tag and for you getting the kill. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's designed to run as a two-man team because you will both get a benefit from it. Yeah, I don't ever use Bouncing Bettys, but I'm seeing them used to way too much effect. I might have to... Yeah. So that symbol you see when you see the explosion and there's like that little mask, that tells you that someone has a flash, flash shield. shield. Yeah. The night kill. Oh. Okay, Mike's, Mike's having a good game here. I'm sure someone downstairs is, is, is saying not nice things about him. Yeah, guy. He's killed the guy quite a bit. Oh, he's behind you. Oh. Um, actually, here's a good question nice. uh, from Twitter user Sofa King. His name is Sofa King Fat, and he <laughs> says, "How long would it take the average player to prestige?" And I think that that's interesting because that's not necessarily something that is easy to answer. Because what does the average player mean? Yeah. Yes. But I will I'm say that one thing I, I thought that was really cool when I saw Elite is that. There's a prestige calculator, a level calculator. Now you can be like, I'm what from my current level to prestige, I'm only gonna play X amount of hours per day with zero double XP, how long will it take? And it tells you, not three months, you know. You right. know yeah. If you're gonna play eight hours a day, it could take three days, you know. Yeah. Right. So nice. you know, you may not be able to that's a hard question for anyone to answer arbitrarily yeah, without knowing the yeah. person. But there are skill calculators in Elite now to kinda help you plot out 
exactly how, how long that'll take. Yeah, how, how, how long it will take you based on your, your history sure. of play. Yeah. Uh, so for King Fat, because you have an awesome name, and because you answer, you asked a really good question about Aspect of Elite, I forgot that. You are getting our final copy of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. Uh, let's see, we got one more Twitter question at the moment. Uh, don't shoot. Uh, he says, have you considered adding an invulnerability time, say three seconds after spawning, but you can't take damage? Like for everybody, not necessarily as a death streak, but you know, just as a as a preventative measure against, you know, spawn camping? Uh, no, we haven't. Um, the, the, what we did to, to have that same effect is the whole reason we added things like, uh, death streaks. Is to give the person who is obviously getting dominated, um, the upper hand, rather I mean, than do anything like that. I was that. gonna say, the concern seems like, the, I mean, the, 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 the thing you guys focus on more than trying to give someone a vulnerability after they spawn is making sure that the spawn like formula works in such a way that they don't ever get spawned with the guy directly next to them. Yes, yeah. We, we, we do a lot of work on the spawn logic to, to uh, limit the amount of danger that you're in when you're spawned. Because sometimes there's crazy ass matches where it's chaos all across the map. But sure. Whenever possible, you should never spawn in front of danger. Um, Ooh. Jason Kiswani on Twitter asked, are there any perks that block heartbeat hey, sensors? Hey, Jason, I know Jason. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, all he, my followers. well, he asks, are there any perks that block heartbeat sensors? In uh, the block 3? heartbeat sensor. Ooh, assassin. I think assassin yeah, might. assassin should. Um, I think assassin's the one that does it. Jason. Nice. Oh, buddy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Dude. Mike's, Mike's doing good. He might, yeah. he might be able to bring his team back from the loss at the moment. This is gonna. This is gonna be a good way to, to close out the session, though. It's very close. Don't choke, Mike. Let's go. I hope I. Uh, yeah, I don't mean to. Uh, to curse him. There we go. Kid, oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice. Saving the team from behind. Mike's good from. Oh behind. man. There we go. Fifty-six, fifty-seven. Come on. This is a, it's good that we're closing out on a great on a what looks to be a great game. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I love how when you kill someone too on the mini map, that tag appears, you know, as, mm -hmm. as that lure, or at least so that your other teams can be aware of the fact that yeah, there's, you know, something there's, to there's tags actually to go out there and get. Yeah. Took the lead off guy. Ooh, they finally taken the lead. Nice. This could be it. To it. To it. Get it. Uh, oh man, just a That's few it. kills from winning. Yeah, it, it's gonna be hard for them to come back it. in these final ends. Um, they can do it. The tide of kill confirmed changes quickly. Yeah, get those denied. Yeah. Twitter user Vij146 oh. asks a question that's not worth answering, which is, will there be a cliffhanger at the end of Modern Warfare 3? You have to play to find out. Who wants exactly. to know if there's a yeah. cliffhanger at the or end, Or you right? don't have to play. Just read the journal. Oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's true if you, you want to find out. Oh, here's the Reaper in action. Nice! Oh. Oh. I believe, I I'm pretty so sure much. this Reaper is, the end, is match, marking the end of the match. Go, 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 go. So the, no. re the Reaper obviously has a limited amount of ammo. After he fires yes. it, you can determine the line of the missile. Yeah, you see, you see the close. ammo in the lower right. But um, yeah, so, so you control it, you can move it with your cursor. See, he's moving that red dot steered it right to there. follow him. And then you can also zoom in on it. Good job. Nice. That was a nice victory yeah. at the very well end done, to Mike. mark it off. You really, you're 36 and, and 13. And at the top, wow. 36 and 13, Good job. brought that around for his team. Quite possibly the MVP. Um, well, the new internet star was born. We've given away a lot of stuff. Remember, if you, if you still want to have a chance to win this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Limited Edition 360, you can go to facebook.com slash IGN. Follow us, like us, do all those good things. We're going to be giving that away. Remember, all these prizes that we've won, you have to be an American to win, and we're going to be mailing these out shortly after the game releases. Um, remember, you can go to facebook.com slash playing Call of Duty to find out all the cool Call of Duty news for IGN on Facebook. You can also go to twitter.com slash Call of Duty IGN or we'll be always updating with all the cool features that IGN's putting out. You can follow uh, Mr. Robert Bowling here at 402. 402. And you can follow Glenn Schofield at... Glenn, Glenn Schofield. Schofield. Very easy to remember. I'm Anthony Gagos. For everything Modern Warfare related, related to Modern Warfare 3, keep it locked to IGN.com. Thanks for having us.